wanted to show you the carnage from my dedication for tonight's immunity. It's my mother-in-law's banister. I ran upstairs so quickly and I grabbed it and I broke it. It's the worst. It's the worst. Look at that. I guess we shall start with that tribal council. Ooh, Jenny girl. Coming into tribal, I was not sure what I was gonna do um, because there was a possibility, a strong possibility that I was going to have both my immunity idol and the immunity necklace. I knew that if I was going to try to get Trevor out this round, like I could, I could only do one of two things. I either give the immunity back to Rob or I play my idol for Rob. And so during tribal, I messaged Rob on Discord and I told him, if you want me to consider playing the idol for you, you need to make an announcement to everyone and tell them why you didn't want to redo the challenge. And so he agreed and he was like, when do you want me to do it? Now? 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 When? And I was like, okay, you just need to say it. I don't care when, but like you have to do it soon before the votes. Once Jenny got her immunity, I didn't message her because I was a little a little worried about what was going on. I messaged her like, hey, are you still gonna use your idol on like Laura or Trevor? No response. And she was responding to me like beforehand during tribal. So I was like, oh, ruh -ro. Her like choreographed speech that Rob was clearly in on. They had the whole thing orchestrated. They practiced beforehand. They absolutely like wrote down some dialogue. Message Jane, I was like, no, don't do it, don't do it. The reason I didn't want her to do it because it's a good move for her. And so Audrey was like, wait, Jenny, who are you playing your idol for? And I was like, Audrey, you wanted to play your idol first, so go for it. And so she played it for herself and then I announced that I was playing the idol for Rob. I shouldn't have spoken at first. I knew she was gonna do it. I, for a second, I was gonna play it on Trevor. I really was about to play it on Trevor, but then I knew it'd be a zero zero vote and then I would be liable for going home and I figured it wasn't worth it. So I just played it on myself. Jenny freaking out of nowhere putting Trevor off. Like what? Uh, I, I kept, I don't know if you could see in the video, but I was definitely like motioning. I was covering my mouth a little bit. And I was like, Trevor, they're gonna vote you off. Trevor, they're gonna vote you off uh, because he was in the same room as me. And it, I mean, as soon as Jenny was saying that she wanted to give her immunity to Rob, I knew it. You could definitely see. I mean, I think I even said, I was like, don't you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> Great, that's not a good look. I've made a lot of risky decisions choosing to not play my idol throughout the game, but you know, I think this move really made a big splash in the game. This was by far the hardest vote I've had to make all game. Trevor and I have been close allies since day one, hashtag go to goats. And I think to get this far into the game, like we played together so well. You know, I think just from a pure strategic standpoint, I knew I couldn't take Trevor to the end. It was not anything personal. 
but yeah, Jenny, great move. Such a great move. Um, I mean, it was so funny. She immediately was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, it's fine. It's part of the game. Like that was a, that was a brilliant move. And honestly, I think it's going to clutch her the win. We are going to do a multi-leg race involving four challenges from the previous season. And in survivor tradition, it will end with a survivor puzzle. Uh, we are going to have some guest Jeffs watch each individual challenger to make sure that everyone completes every leg appropriately. So I'm going to call in my celebrity guest Jeffs. First, can I introduce OG Probst, Shannon Smith. <laughs> Up next, making an appearance all the way from season two, let's welcome Cowboy Hat Probst, AKA Tucker Pennington. <laughs> Tucker looks thrilled to be here. Uh, and finally, a brand new Jeff, who to this point we have thus not seen. Give it up for Black Shirt Finale Jeff, AKA Emily Simler. Each of us is gonna be watching one of you, and that person will call out when you are good to advance to the next stage of this challenge. This is a five leg race. Here's the order. The first challenge will be a ping pong book balance. You're going to hold the book flat in your hand. You're gonna put two ping pong balls on that book and you are going to stand one-legged. You have to last for a full minute without the ping pong balls falling to the ground. When your minute is up, you will advance to the next leg of the race. Leg two will be to fetch clothes from your closet and present them in a Survivor fashion show. I will tell you which outfit when we're just about ready to go. Number three will be double flip cup. Like in our very first challenge of the game, you must flip two cups consecutively. If you miss on the second one, you've got to redo the first one. Stage four, beer soup. You must pour your 12 ounce carbonated beverage into a bowl and drink it with a spoon. And do not drink out of the bowl. Levi. And do not drink out of the bowl. Finally, after you've done all four of these things, we will send you a survivor puzzle. It will be one of the Instagram photos from the Instagram memory challenge. It is a slide puzzle. When I get the all clear from that Jeff that you've completed all five legs, you will have one individual immunity and the chance to pick one person to come with you to final three, where you will plead your case to the jury and make your case for the game's sole survivor. So take your position with the book of your choice. You could have taken a small book that was easy to maneuver or a wider book with more surface area. It was entirely up to you. When I count down from 10, this challenge is on. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. This challenge is on. Rob, I'm gonna have to reset you there. Yep. Laura's gonna have to reset. Audrey and Jenny holding strong. Rob, you're at 30 seconds. Jenny, you're at 15. Fuck. Laura, you're and at And Rob falls. He's got to reset. Jenny, you're at six. Rob falls again. Jenny, you're clear. Audrey, you're good. Jenny and Audrey. What is, what is it? The look, the look is middle school. Short sleeve t-shirt over a long sleeve t-shirt with a backpack or duffel bag and, or a drawstring bag and a book in the bag. You must vogue when you return in your outfit. Hey, Laura, hey. you're good. Laura, Laura you're is, good. Laura's good. Rob's still on the ping pong balls. Rob, you're at 20 seconds in. You've got 40 to go. What we're supposed to wear? Long sleeve t-shirt underneath a short sleeve t-shirt wearing a backpack and Vogue with the bag, or v Vogue with the book. Then put the book in the backpack. Rob, you're at 30 seconds. And Rob, you are good. Same look, middle school, long sleeve t-shirt. Laura, you are good. Laura Vogue, she's on to the double flip cup. 
Wait, can you say it again? Sorry. Jenny, what? you need a book. You need a book. What? I have the backpack. Oh. Oh, Am I good? Do Vogue. Do Vogue, Jenny. Am I good? Do Vogue, Jenny. Do Vogue. Good with my cup. I don't know what that means. The face thing. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Let's go. Who's got, who's got Laura? Who's, who's got Laura? Laura? Go, Laura, go. Can I go? Yes, Jenny, go. Audrey. Good. Here? Yes. Yep. Audrey's the only one with LaCroix. You know I'm fancy. All right, Jeff. Long sleeve. Short, Short sleeve, sleeve t-shirt over, over a long sleeve t-shirt with a book and a book bag. Book. Book bag. Vogue. You must Vogue. Vogue. Rob, you're good. You are on to double flip cup. I love it. Hi. Jenny, you're good. Jenny, you're good. Rob, your camera is frozen. Rob, your camera is No. Frozen. You see it? You didn't see it? No, no, I didn't see it. No, I didn't see it. Not Keep going. Like this. Keep going. Keep going. Not like this. <laughs> That's one. There it is. Rob's beer, good. Beer Rob's soup? good. You're on to beer soup. You see it? Yes, I saw it. You're good, Rob. How is everybody doing? John, Laura is done. Send the slide puzzle. Laura, you are getting your slide puzzle. Check the Zoom chat and then share your screen. Why can't I do this? Try your arrow keys. Um, How do I? Oh. Oh. Laura is on to the slide. How do I puzzle. show that I'm done? Present an empty bowl when you're done. Jenny, keep it on the table. Jenny, keep it on. The, okay. Yep, you're good. Jenny's, Jenny's good. Empty. Audrey's good. Let me get the puzzle. Audrey's good. Jenny, I just sent it to you. Audrey, I'm sending it to you. Make sure you <laughs> copy the entire link. Rob, you are frozen. I can't see you. Jeff. Sit tight, Rob. I can't see you. Je oh, God. There you are. You're good, Rob. You're good. I'm sending you the thing. No, you're closer to the Wi-Fi. It always comes down to the puzzle. The winner of this challenge guarantees a spot in the final three if they so want it. Rob, once you have that set up, make sure you share your screen. Jenny has Jeff assembled on this slide puzzle. Working on the second Jeff right now. Rob going to work. He's got most of my face assembled, but is it in the right place? No, it is not. It's terrible. <laughs> I'm used to doing these when they're numbered. <laughs> the whole point is that they are not. Rob has a long way to go. Jeffs, can I get a status update? Uh, Jenny is getting pretty close here. Laura's got some, some pieces assembled, some faces are coming together, yeah. starting to look good. Audrey has Jenny a Jenny is done. very close. Rob mostly shuffling the tiles on the outside and the outside only. Jenny is struggling to get these last couple pieces in place. Tucker, you said Audrey had the top row done. She's picked up a lot of momentum. Audrey picking up steam. Laura does not like this. Jenny Laura looks to be um, maybe trying a new strategy. She's broken up some of her previous progress to uh, try to make something happen here. So has Jenny as well. And Rob is... Back to square one. Basically nowhere. He actually <laughs> might be exactly where he started. I think I might be. Where, who is this guy drinking coffee? Audrey almost has it. Audrey is close. Can she bring it on home? Jenny getting a little bit farther away. Audrey has like two tiles left. 
Audrey, mm, no. No! Oh, There's I'm close. Missing. Oh, Audrey thought she had it, but not quite. Damn. Rob is just, yeah, I don't know what. I don't know, I don't know what the picture, I don't know what side this guy is on. You have seen this picture before for five seconds. <laughs> yeah, thanks, that helped. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Kind Shannon, why can't you be in the right spot? Just when Audrey okay. thought oh, she had it, she oh, she's look. got a little ways to go, but she's definitely making good progress here. Is that it? No, is this it? No, no. Is this it? Okay, there's a tree. She's got it. Oh. And that's it. That's Woo! it. Cowboy Hat Probst calls it. Audrey there's wins. Sword. Audrey wins individual immunity guarantees her shot at the final three. I would like uh, to thank my brother for making me practice slide puzzles all the time. Thank you, Andrew Brazel. Honestly, Jeff, when you read through each of the relays, I was like, crap, 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 crap. Slide puzzle, I'm going to win. Audrey is going to pick two people to compete in a fire making challenge. Those two people will play their way into the final three. The two people who don't, are already in. Now, normally we give players some time to think about this and make their pitches, but we're doing it a little bit differently this time. We are making that decision right now and we are building fire right now. You will remember I asked you to get a deck of cards. This is why oh. the deck of cards matters. I'm going to give each player a chance to make a pitch to Audrey if they would like to make one about why they should come with her to the final three. And to be clear, Audrey can, if she wants, put herself in fire if she desires. Otherwise, it's her spot <coughs> to lose. So, Laura, I'm going to let you go first here. Um, <laughs> I feel so silly, just like begging, not really begging. Um, Audrey, it's, it's no uh, secret you've been my number one this whole time. Um, I, I hope that I have actually been your number one, but like, girl... I have loved our friendship. So regardless of who you choose, I'm just glad to have a new, hopefully, you know, lifelong friend because you're awesome. So uh, no hard feelings if you choose somebody else. And I wanna just get on the record here as Rob is licking his cards. We have allowed that in the past. So whoever does make fire, you can lick your cards to help them stick. Just know you'll have a plastic you taste in your mouth for two days. Not from personal experience. Jenny. What is your pitch, if any, to Audrey? I am super sorry about the last vote. Like, I, I really didn't think that any of us stood a chance if Trevor went to the end. So, like, it wasn't, like, anything against you guys. Um, and, like, Audrey, I was 100% serious that if I won the challenge, I was going to take you. And so, you know, I understand if, like, um, you don't take me, but I would hope that you do. And, Rob, if you can stop looking at your cards for a few moments, what is your pitch, if any, to Audrey? Yeah, Audrey, here's my pitch. Um, you said that I have no chance of winning. Why don't you come meet me in the Thunderdome right now? Cards for the win. You need a big move. I know you do. I know you want to impress people. Come on in. Let's let's rumble right now. You and me, one on one. I'm ready. So I'll go ahead and say I am not picking Rob. <laughs> Audrey has made that clear. She is not picking Rob. To be clear, you're not picking Rob to go to the final three, or you're not picking him to do fire. I'm not picking him to come with me to the final three. I am picking Rob to do fire. Rob will be doing fire, and which of Jenny and Laura will be competing against Rob for that final spot? So I am bringing Laura with me. All right, Audrey is going to bring Jenny Laura. is a surgeon, so I'm doing this because you got to have steady hands to be a surgeon, right? <laughs> It is set in stone. Laura gets a glass of wine. Well earned. She has made it to the final three. She will join Audrey and either Jenny or Rob. Audrey, Laura, congratulations. You can turn your cameras off. We're going to let Jenny and Rob take us home here. First person to get a free Apex House of Cards fully standing, and it must stay standing for five seconds, will win the fire making challenge and earn that final spot at final tribal. In five. Four, three, two, one. This challenge is on. A three apex house of cards. It must stand for five seconds. Rob. 
I can. Uh, Robbling down a foundation here. You got this, Jenny. Stay focused. Mora giving Jenny some encouragement from the sidelines. Rob getting ready to place the first apex of his second level. Having a hard time getting them to stay. He wisely pulls back before the entire thing collapses. Hey, Vinny, I'm gonna just, just oh, I'm gonna change positions just cause I'm not comfortable right now. Jenny's gonna change positions, that's fine. I can still see her desk. And Rob's falls to the ground. Rob is starting from scratch. Jenny's gamble pays off. Will that extra comfort help? Jenny, when you have a second, I need you to tilt your camera down a little bit. Can't okay. quite see that first level. Rob starts getting back to work on his first level. You have been at this for two minutes. Jenny has three bases down. She's laying the foundation for her second level. Rob is back to square one working on that first apex. Jenny trying to finesse that second level. She gets the first apex of her second level. She has two apexes to go. Can she nail the second one? Rob's still struggling on that first level after getting a pretty sizable lead early. Seems to be struggling to get it back. Jenny gets her second apex on the second level. She has one apex to go. Can she finish this thing off? It must stay up for five seconds once her hands leave the cards. She pulls back. Rob's still working on that first level, hoping for a Jenny mistake. Five, four, three, two, one, and that will do it. Jenny. Good job, ladies. Jenny wins her second immunity challenge. She is on to the final three after beating Rob in fire. Rob, with some uh, appreciative applause. Thank you. Well played. Great move tonight, playing the idol. You are a champion. I hope that you go all the way. Jenny, I know you've given me a lot of heat. You've chirped a lot, but you are a fighter, and I love it. I hope you win. You're oh, excellent. You. Good game. Rob Good with game. some encouragement on his way out. Rob, the cards have spoken. You will become the 10th and final member of our jury. It's an all-woman final three. And which is, newbie. Woo! Woo! And an all-newbie final three. This is going to be an exciting conversation on Sunday. Take the Thanksgiving holiday for the break that it is. Get your mind off the game and then come back on Sunday with your arguments ready to go for why you should be this season's sole survivor. For the last time, grab your torches, head back to camp. Good night.